Greetings and welcome back to yet another episode of the Daily Run and today we're playing as Eve again So this is the second Eve Daily in a row, which is I guess a bit unlikely But I don't really mind it since Eve I think is a fun enough character to warrant playing her multiple times The only time it might get a bit frustrating is maybe if this was the last But thankfully Eve is, is still kind of tolerable and I, like I said I think in some situations she can actually be a very fun character Especially with all the changes that they made to her in the latest DLC because this run does only go to mom, I would like actually to talk about it, because I don't think I ever did. And whenever a mom goes to run, there's a lot of variants included, and not just like with the Isaac, which depends on which items you re-roll, but some decisions you made throughout the game really affect the end outcome. So the most maybe simple and the most ridiculous, in my opinion, is the fact that if you enter a red chest, you're gonna find different devil items on the later floors. So, for example, if I go into the devil chest, in the red chest, and it teleports me to the deal with the devil, I'll get different items than if I just went to my boss room and entered the, de the devil deal myself. I'm not sure if that's what always happens, but I know that on one daily, some people have theorized and figured out that this is what happened on that particular daily. And people who, did, who didn't go, who, who found the boss room first and actually visited it, it are, were rewarded for it, I guess, but this reward isn't really because they made the right play, just because they, f they managed to find the boss room first, and there's a lot of strategies you can go, go, go about the game, which I think are all valid, for, so for me, I try to explore the floor first and then enter the boss room, which means that I would most likely find the red chest first, but some people like to do the boss room first, so they maybe can get a good item and then clear the floor much faster that way. And there's nothing wrong with any of those strategies, you know, they're still, they're, st they're, they're still up to debate whichever one is maybe more optimal or not. But because the game is s such inherent randomness, th there's really nothing you can say for sure as regards to strategy, at least the floor combinations. But just the fact that the outcome of the run can change so much just based on which direction you go first in and maybe w which items you take and which you don't is, I think, really upsetting in, in the sense that there's no way that you can control these variables and those variables actually can end up affecting the run. Of course, I mean, when you look at it on average, the, the better players w will still rise to the top and they're gonna have better scores overall and the worst players will fall down because there's only so many runs that rely on variance, you know, eventually it's gonna average out and you're gonna start seeing patterns. But it, it sucks because, you know, we're all playing this game in, in a way that that is a day-to-day -day basis and we're comparing each other on a very daily basis on daily leaderboards and there's nothing wrong with that i think that's a that, that there's a healthy combination there because a lot of people appreciate what other people do and the the, the fact that there are like four or five thousand concurrent players every day really gives you a feeling of of community that maybe you wouldn't get in any other game whenever you're not playing with these people, because we're not directly competing, we're more as trying to improve, and we're helping each other while doing it, and I think that's a very nice thing to do. But when you have runs that rely on kind of being lucky, and sometimes even making the wrong decisions to actually succeed, it really puts a damper on things, just because I think th that a daily should not rely on things like that. And, and whenever there's a daily that only goes to mom's food, this is bound to happen, because some people play differently, and things that the, the the order you visit things in can matter so much on the run that there's just no 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 right way to to actually amend that and i don't think that's a problem that can be fixed because i think because of the the uh, the way isaac is made there's no way to alleviate that mistake like the only thing you can do is just play a lot and eventually if you're a good player those differences will won't matter anymore just because you'll get as lucky as someone else is getting lucky or if maybe if you play a thousand runs and it seems that someone is still getting luckier maybe they just have a different strategy that's better and, and they're not necessarily lucky so for that reason i think it's important for us to realize what we can consider luck and what we can consider maybe a problem of the game and i don't think that that is a problem of the game at all i don't think that there's anything wrong with some people having being favoritized and just having a better run because they, they just managed to go right first and not left. I think that that is one of those things that fixes itself as you play more or I guess the variance becomes lower. But the things that I think should be amended in a way is just how the items are, 
how much strength the items are given. Because when we started playing the dailies, it was very novel to see that certain items that weren't very good before suddenly became very useful. So items like the shovel become basically became the staple in any run that only goes to mom. Just because getting the shovel means you can visit three more floors and that's usually worth more than double the amount of points you get to that point. Which is obviously a ludic lud ridiculous amount of points. And, and who... If you find that shovel, you're just gonna be bounced over the people who didn't. And the funny thing is, even if someone manages to find maybe an Ewa's rune, and someone else manages to find a shovel, the person with the Ewa's rune is still gonna be so, so disadvantaged. They really have no chance of catching up. And I feel like there should be a way to catch up to people, even if they find a way forward. And I'm not really sure how you would do this. How can you kind of normalize the run? I guess the most obvious solution is just track points, or at least floor points. Up until the point um, that you you manage to, to visit, uh, up until the final goal. So that means that if the run is to mom, I only get exploration points up to the mom floor. And anything beyond that is, I don't get any more floor bonuses, no more exploration points. The points I would get is for clearing rooms, for pitying bosses, sure, because those, those are points that I feel are irrelevant, even though I know there's still exploration bonuses. They're coded as exploration bonus, but I feel like there should be a distinction here. I think exploring more rooms, beating rooms, should reward your points. Even on later floors, just not just visiting rooms shouldn't, and just visiting floors also shouldn't. But the advantage here would come from the fact that you just have more options to you. Maybe you can get more more payouts via the Devil Beggar, or maybe you can get more payouts and maybe have another chance of finding a good Devil Deal item, maybe a shovel, and things like that. And that would allow you then to get further. And of course, when when you get to, to the final floor, the lamp, uh, that that would still only give you as much as the the, the, the lamp fight would give you. So it wouldn't give you four thousand points for beating the lamp and visiting that floor. You would just get I don't know three hundred points for just doing it. And, and I maybe I maybe that's not a good solution at all. Maybe that that we're just thinking about this all differently. But but there's cer certainly some merit to what we are doing. I'm not saying that. This is luck based at all. I mean, obviously Isaac is luck based. I'm just saying that the, the variance is still going to average out on a lot of runs. So you you will notice which players are good when when you play a, a few hundred runs, and I think that those differences won't be as noticeable then. But I'm just saying that when you're playing base to base, or I mean game to game, and you're comparing your scores to others, and when you notice that your run is 200 and someone else's is higher, even though maybe they they made a worse decision, which is usually the, the result of this, so maybe if someone visits a room first that they really shouldn't, um, you know it's the objectively bad decision, but in that scenario it actually turned out well for them, that is not something that, 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 that you feel like should be rewarded. And I agree, you know, you shouldn't feel like it should be rewarded. I just feel like there should be a catch-up mechanism. So even players who only went to the final floor, so up until mom, can still compete score-wise with the people who didn't manage to go further. And like I said, I'm not sure how you would amend that or how you would change the scoring system to actually make that possible. But I definitely feel that there should be... Maybe what, what could happen, so this is just, just yet, yet another brainstorm, brainstorming idea, maybe damage penalty could be severely increased past the floors that... that go beyond the original goal, because that way what happens is if players are, aren't really playing super well, uh, or maybe they're just not good players, then those differences will be less noticeable. But then again, it feels wrong to be punished in, in that sense, just for actually finding a way to break the game. So, uh, like I said, I'm not really sure how we could amend this, but maybe this is just some food for thought. And with that said, I did not manage to find this one, and this is not just me being salty, I'm just trying to maybe give you my biased opinion on this. And you can see that I was 241st, which means, you know, that there are... Uh, this is not a bad score by any means, because like I said, there are about 5,000 people playing. If you manage to rank in the top 5%, that's obviously still a very good score. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, that there... I think that there should be a way for me, or maybe the people who didn't find a way to go forward, to still compete with those who did. In, in, I'm in just some way, I'm not saying that they should be pen penalized or maybe that th the score shouldn't matter. I still feel that, that you, if you do find a way to go forward, you should still have an advantage. But I'm just saying that there should be a way to catch up to that advantage somehow. I'm not sure how, but I'm just proposing the idea maybe. 
With that said, we did hand the run here, so this was maybe more of a ranty, ranty run than usual, but like I said, the run was actually very samey than the one yesterday. We had a lot of similar items, and because it did, it did only go to mom, there weren't really a lot of decisions involved. So with that said, guys, I thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.